Hi, my name is Phil Lieberman. I'm president of Lieberman Software Corporation. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we integrate with System Center Operations Manager. Specifically, we're going to look at our management pack as well as how we can give you access to your privileged identities on both Windows and non-Windows systems. Microsoft System Center Operations Manager is a great product to monitor the availability of systems and applications. But from time to time, you do need to have the ability to directly access those systems. Sometimes the only way to do that is via the administrator account or the root account of those systems. What I'd like to do today is to describe to you our integration pack that we have done with System Center Operations Manager to do two things. First, we're going to talk about how we deal with the uh, release of privileged credentials, whether they be root or whether they be administrator. Secondly, we're going to talk about some of the management of SCOM's internal credentials, specifically for the management of its own uh, management packs. So let's begin. If you're a user of SCOM, let's put this in real terms. It's Friday night. Uh, it's, uh, say, 1230 in the morning. You get an alert that of all the systems you have out there, one of the critical systems now has a problem. Now SCOM does a really great job in identifying it, and if you've already put the rules in, we'll go ahead and try to correct the problem automatically. But sometimes manual interventions, in fact, are necessary. So the pain that you have is, how do you gain the root level or credentials for administrative access to that sensitive machine at 12.30 in the morning? The answer to that is our product called Enterprise Random Password Manager, also known as ERPM. ERPM already has stored all of the credentials for root level, administrative level access to all the systems being managed by SCOM. So if SCOM reports a problem, and it's our friend A right here that you need access to, if the integration is done between our two products using the management pack, it's simply a matter of right clicking to gain access to the administrator account. It's as simple as that. What happens behind the scenes is that via the integration, Enterprise Random Password Manager decrypts the passwords for the system that you need access to, checks your access rights to make sure you're the right person who's supposed to have access, grants you the access by providing you with the password for the account that you need, and then you then have the ability to directly access that system and work on it. In the background, what's also happening here is that ERPM is also keeping a timer on your access to this and is also auditing this information so that we understand who's doing what and for what reason. Now, the second thing that we do is that if this is a Windows system that you're managing with SCOM, the management packs deal with credentials uh, very easily. They use pass-through authentication or other mechanisms. But if this is a Linux system that you're managing right here, let's uh, call this one L, you know that SCOM also provides management packs that provide access to these other systems. But these management packs also require that SCOM store the credentials to provide access to those systems via those management packs. If you have thousands of different Linux and Unix and appliances out there, the problem that you have is that by regulatory requirements, you're forced to keep changing these passwords on a regular basis. Unfortunately, you have to change those passwords manually in SCOM in order to be compliant with the regulations. So the second thing we solve is that via the ERPM integration, we go and look at all of these credentials that are stored in here. We match them to what we have here, and every time we change a credential in one of the Linux systems, we also update SCOM at the same time. So the net effect of this is that doing cross-platform secure access and compliant access is now very easy to do with our integration. So what I'd like to do at this point is turn this over to Chris Stoneff, and Chris will give you a demo of the integration. Chris, go ahead and take it away. Tonight, the SCOM administrator will find that the SCOM management services are not functioning as expected on an automation system where his account is not an administrator.
To get administrative access for his account will require a change control request to be made which will take 24 hours or more. Lieberman Software's Enterprise Random Password Manager has been managing the privileged identities such as service accounts and built-in administrator accounts on all systems in the enterprise, including this one. The SCOM administrator can recover the password for the local administrator account on this system directly through the SCOM interface where he is already working. The admin will select the system and from the action pane select Enterprise Random Password Manager Recover Privileged Password. The admin will be prompted for his login credentials or if integrated authentication is configured, the administrator will be brought in directly. The administrator will be shown a list of accounts that he can recover for this particular system. He will select the account from the list, click Recover the Password, enter in the comment, and click OK. At this point, the password for the local administrator account on this automation system has been recovered. The administrator is now able to fix the problem. As management packs are added to System Center Operations Manager, its ability to reach applications, untrusted, and non-Microsoft systems and devices expand. SCOM will utilize run-as accounts to facilitate the additional connectivity and monitoring offered by these management packs. Historically, the management of these credentials meant updating the system, device, or directory that housed the account, and then updating the account within SCOM. Enterprise Random Password Manager has the ability to discover these run as accounts within SCOM by querying the SCOM directly. ERPM will connect to the remote SCOM interface, request for the list of run as accounts, and any new accounts will be listed. Any accounts that no longer exist will be removed. Enterprise Random Password Manager can also manage the passwords for these run as accounts by first updating the system directory or device that houses the credential and then updating the credentials in SCOM. In this instance, we have the SCOM service account which is being used as a run as account within SCOM. To change this account, we can either select the system or the account directly, select Change Password, identify the type of password to set for this account, as well as the password complexity and length. We will define the propagation scope as what systems Enterprise Random Password Manager will look at when attempting to see if this account is in use anywhere in the environment. In this case, we are sure that this account's usage is limited to only the SCOM system. We then select the propagation settings and identify what additional subsystems on the target machines we wish to scan. Since this account is only used for SCOM run as accounts, we can safely remove the additional elements. Finally, how often should this account be changed? To see this happen now, we're going to choose immediately. Enterprise Random Password Manager will first connect to the DC, update the password, encrypt and store it into the password store, after which it will connect to the SCOM system and update the SCOM run as account. Thanks, Chris. Great demo. In summary, most organizations today, if you're using SCOM, really don't have any way of handling the privileged identities that are required to gain access to those sensitive systems. There's nothing worse than being, on a, being there on a Friday night or on a Saturday night and being unable to access sensitive systems or having to call people all over the organization to find out what the credentials are to gain access to those systems. Not only that, nobody really enjoys the issue of the auditors coming in and finding that you haven't changed passwords because you simply don't have the staff to update them within SCOM. 
What our solution provides to you is via the integration of our product ERPM or Enterprise Random Password Manager and also SCOM. What we've provided to you is a way of providing secure access to privileged identities and to sensitive systems so that only the right people have access at the right time and for the right reasons. Now, if you already have our product, Enterprise Random Password Manager, you can go ahead and download the management pack right off of our website. On the other hand, if you are not familiar with our product and you would like some assistance installing it, we can provide you with a free copy to try out for a while that is uh, provided in both a VM image for both Hyper-V and VMware. In addition to that, if you simply don't have the time and you're operating in a production environment with SCOM and you simply don't want to disturb it, we can provide you with an entire playground uh, that has hundreds of different systems in it that you can immediately use to try out our integration with SCOM as well as other Microsoft products. Thanks for your time. For more information, please contact us.